here we are guys back to our tweezies as you saw as i mentioned in the title tweezy sales uh, i received many demands on uh, measurements of these cells i already gave them but uh, right now we will see a little more about uh, these cells and uh, I will take some measures because I have an idea keeping the original system and inserting here high power uh, uh, lithium phosphate cells and uh, uh, I will need the measures as I'm, I'm attempting to keep the original configuration. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, to, I'm trying to double cross our BMS, let him think uh, that the original cells are present uh, but uh, that's not the way it will go uh, as we can see we have six cells here and uh, every cell is monitored using this system here we also have a temperature sensor inside here uh, I already opened part of this and I will let you see on this one that's assembled to understand how these pieces are uh, this one is here it's protecting the positive and negative pole right here okay do something like this these are old cells so as you can see they're uh, inflated this is the positive and negative pole that uh, goes to the high power and uh, Inside here, we have some bolts, uh, we have four of them. Taking them out, it will release this piece right here. Pulling it out, we have this. Uh, right now, I will measure the, the original one, the, the block. This is a six cell block. So we have uh, 35, I'm talking about centimeters. 8 and his height seventeen point five I should say. So if I'm intending to use uh, another lithium technology with the same sensors and the same plugs, um, I already took the dose out, so uh, we can. Uh, it's very easy to do that. Taking out these systems, see? We could take a closer look at what's inside. I should help myself with some screwdriver here. Mm, you have to be very care careful when you do this because short circuits could cause you to <laughs> to use this little guy right here so you have to be very careful we don't want any short circuits on uh, on an inflated cell okay here we have positive and negative as you can see it communicates with, uh, with the with the big poles so I will use this to avoid short circuits someone these days a tweezy lover he was telling me Wow, it's an exciting job. He was about to take out the gearbox. So, uh, so my response was, uh, yes, very exciting for who loves <laughs> these things. For, uh, for other people, it's just work. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, it's very easy. We have this plug. Uh, this is the temperature sensor. So the two black wires, this is the temperature sensor. Uh, we have the main positive, uh, the, the, the main rear positive right here. 
and right here we have a positive and a negative the the, the, the ones uh, that attach to the to the high power so uh, this uh, this should be easy uh, of course in this moment I'm only measuring these uh, things right here I didn't uh, buy the cell uh, after uh, I will try to insert it in an original battery so I will put I will uh, I will balance the cell at the same uh, voltage as one of these batteries and I will insert it in the middle and uh, we will see uh, the response of the BMS if the response is good and the clone starts after we can do all of them I'm hoping to get 12 uh, kilowatts kilowatts this time because uh, on the cattle cell on the cattle uh, cartridge I only get 10 kilowatts uh, that's very easy to adapt uh, there's no problem but I would like at least 12 kilowatts on, on these things so uh, we will see how this story ends soon I will start my uh, off-road project and we also we will also start on the high power project and uh, this is all for the moment uh, uh, I will I will take these cells out uh, I have to be very careful because they're inflated and uh, that's about all guys uh, see you next time